Hi, welcome to Cute Things by Rebecca. I am Rebecca and today we are going to make the center zip bag with the boxed corners. Um, I'm doing a 6 by 10 size. So these are the materials that we need to get started. Um, using vinyl only and no lining for this bag. Lining will not work with this. Um, I have two front pieces of vinyl cut at 3 by 12. My back piece is cut at um, 7 by 12 and I have a zipper longer than my project. So, and I'm going to put a little handle on this one. So I made a little handle. So you can use tabs or whatever you'd like or nothing at all. It's going to be a cute bag. Um, the first step on the machine is a placement step. So I'm going to run that now and I will show you what that looks like. Okay, here's the placement step and it's just placed on some tearaway stabilizer. Um, you want to use tearaway so you can tear it away at the end because this bag is not lined. Um, so the next step on the machine is going to secure a zipper. So what you want to do is take your zipper and line it up with the center line. Not all zippers are made the same as far as width. So um, be sure to use the zipper teeth as your guide with that center line. Secure it with tape. I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm going to run the next step on the machine. Okay, so our zipper is secured on. Now you want to take your top um, vinyl piece and line it up to the zipper. Making sure your placement is covered. And run the next step. It's going to be a line. And then the step after that is going to secure the top. I'm going to run both of those steps and I will show you what they look like in just a minute. Okay, so the top portion of the bag is on there. Now do the same for the bottom piece. Um, line up your vinyl, run the next two steps. We are skipping, not really skipping, but we're not pausing after the line because we're not doing this in fabric. So that line is there for when you make the fabric bags, you would do a flip over. So. We're just combining those steps. So I'm going to run the next two steps on the machine, five and six, and it's going to secure it just like the top. Okay, so the next two steps on the machine are for the lining. We will skip those. After that step is a placement step for a tab. And you can put a tab anywhere you'd like. Um, it's right here on the zipper line. You can run those if you want. I am going to put my little strap on. Um, when you, If you use a strap like this, be sure that it's over far enough that it's out of your boxed corner. So if you need to use the guide on the other side as a reference point, um, do that. Because if your strap is over a little bit, it, it's going to mess everything up. So... Um, I'm going to just put my strap probably right about here. Just something to hold on to if I'm carrying my bag. Um, you know, I might need a little strap. So anyways, it's out of the area that we're going to be cutting. So I'm going to secure that with tape real quick, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I've taped my handle down so it's not gonna be too poofy anyways and it's out of the range so now what you want to do is take your main back panel fabric and lay it over the entire design run um step 11 on the machine um and this is gonna seal the deal here so make sure your zipper is open don't want to forget that and let's run that step okay so the main portion of the bag part is done so remove from your hoop clean up your stabilizer 
and um, just uh, trim around the outside for now and I'll show you um, what we're going to do here with the box corners. There's a couple of different ways we can do it. Um, we could get it close. I don't want to tear all of the, the stabilizer away at this time because I'm going to use the box that is on the stabilizer as a guide for cutting. So don't remove the entire stabilizer, just clean up the outer edges. Okay, so that's how I trimmed my bag. Now we're going to cut out these little squares for the 6x10 bag. The squares are one and a half. Um, the five by seven is a one inch square and the four by four is a three quarter inch square. And the seven by 12 bag is, I believe I made it uh, two, the two inch box. So those are the dimensions of the squares. You don't have to use this particular if this is too poofy for you you can make your boxes smaller you can make them bigger if you want this is just a guide to help with this um, like I said there's a couple ways we can do this um, if you have a sewing machine a sewing machine is gonna be your best bet I think but I have added some files in um, the design for some lines and that's what it says it's lines it's a three inch line that is going to um, make your boxes if you don't have a sewing machine I'm going to show you how to do all of that um, let me finish tearing this stabilizer out and I'll show you the next steps for this Okay, so the stabilizer is all cleaned up now. Um, now that you have your corners, what you want to do is just grab them. Grab your corner, just like so. And just kind of give it a, a pull. And square it out like this. Um, that's it. You take it to your sewing machine. You can sew a line just directly across from there. A straight line will be fine. Um, so that's one way to do is to take it to your sewing machine. Now I, I did mention that I made a file of this lines. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. <laughs> this is your file. Okay. I already ran the, this is just placement steps. So you see four lines because we have four corners and this, this might be difficult at first, but I've actually done it a couple times. It's not so bad because you know, sometimes I don't want to turn on my sewing machine. So when you have, have it all ready to sew up, what you want to do is just line up on this first line to the left and left to right. And just line it up to where about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. Um, you can tape it, hold it down. I'm going to just kind of hold it. Um, put it in your machine and run it's going to run a line down and back up again and um, then you'll have one box done and then I'll show you what we do after that with when using this method okay so it's sewed on um, now what you want to do is gently just to remove just that lining from you don't want to tear your stabilizer out and do it all over again we can use this four times so that one is done it's going to be boxed now so the stitches that run up and down they're in different lengths so when you're doing different sizes like if you're doing the five by seven bag you're not going to use this whole line so it's going to be maybe a half inch shorter so the way the stitches are made you should be able to just trim off the threads and not worry about unraveling or anything okay so um so that's the first one go ahead and do the same for your second corner and line it up with the second line wherever you'd like to to stitch it hold it or tape it 
I'm gonna hold it and I will be right back. Okay, so we have the second corner done. So just gently tear. So it's looking like a boxed bag. So go ahead and do the next two corners. Um, just be aware of any bulk that you may have. I'm gonna have some bulk here because I've got my tabs kind of next to it. So just be mindful of your machine or like I said, take it to the sewing machine and go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the, because I'm, I'm in the, the zone right now doing it here. So I'll be right back. There's the third line. So we'll gently remove that and do the fourth one as the same. Um, I have it ending this design. My stopping point is up top middle, not in the center. So you should be fine um, putting it for the last line like this and watching it, taping it or whatever, or you can um, do it the opposite way um, because when it does stop, it's gonna move to right here. Okay, so that's the last one. I know that it seems like a hassle to do, but not all embroiderers have sewing machines or care to get their sewing machines out, but I wanted them to have the option to make the boxy bag because it's super cute. Anyways, if I did all this right, it's gonna be adorable. Anyways, um, I made a little one. I haven't made a big one yet, so this is my first big one. I'm excited to see. take all that tape off in a little bit. Look. How cute. Look. There it is. It's a cute little boxy bag made all on the embroidery machine. I like it yay okay so it's actually for it looks pretty roomy so it's poof up is about what one two three four inches high with that um, one and a half inch box so you can use that as a guide for when you make your boxes now I did make the little one. It's the same process, the same steps. The 4x4, four four, it is the absolute cutest, cutest thing in the world. It's a little cube. I'm going to make it a keychain, and I'm going to make a bunch of them, and I'm going to give them away. But look how cute. The 4x4s four are so fun. I just like the little stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and... um. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your boxy bag. I'm going to put some little toiletries in it or something. Or whatever I want. I don't know. I might use it before my trip because it's cute. But, and I did use a number 5 on this bag. Number 5 zipper. Um, most of my bags, you can do that. I have left enough space to do that. And um, same bag pattern, just different size here with the number 3 zipper. So... My bags are universal, customizable, whatever you want to with them. Tabs, no tabs. Anyways, I'm really excited about this one. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching.